Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. We wanted to let you know that your ongoing support helps us further in our goal to spread awareness about mental health and psychology. Thank you for the love and support that you've given us. Now, on to the video. So, you have a crush, and maybe you've been texting them for some time now. You have a hunch that they may just like you back, but you can't decide if they have feelings for you or if they're, well, just being nice. This can happen to all of us. Texting isn't as clear as face-to-face -face contact. Without the social cues of tone and body language to back our observations up, how are you supposed to tell if someone does indeed have strong feelings for you? Well, to help you out, here are some top tips to help you know if someone likes you over text. Number one, they text you first. If you like someone, wouldn't you jump at the chance to talk to them? Actually, better yet, our nerves can get in the way with that, especially if we really like the person. Feelings intensify. But if they're generally the one to initiate your conversations, it means they likely like you. Hmm, that sounds like a tongue twister. Number two, they send long, detailed texts. If they put the time into texting you consistently, they must care to some degree. But if they send long texts, sometimes even paragraphs, then they may be really interested in you. If you would ask them a question and they actually put thought into the answer, as shown by their paragraph, then they actually want to keep the conversation going and may even open up to you more in their texts. Number three, they double text. Wait, what? What on earth is double texting? This is what double texting looks like. You receive a text from someone you like. You're too busy to respond, so you go about your business with the idea you'll respond later. They check their phone to find you haven't responded and felt the need to reach out again. They send another text. So they cared enough to check their phone, see you didn't respond, but couldn't stop thinking about you so much so that they had to tell you something more before you sent your response. This is a pretty good sign that shows that even if they don't like you romantically, they're at least a friend who can't stop thinking of you. Number four, they care and show concern for you. If you find your crush wishing you a good morning or asking how you are frequently, you're in for a good surprise. These are signs that they like you. In relationships, there should be more than just physical attraction and shared similarities. Partners should also be emotionally invested in each other. If the person you're texting often wishes you a good night out of the blue, when you haven't been texting at a late hour, they've been thinking of you. If they're thinking about your well-being and show they care, it's a sure sign they have feelings for you. Number five, they send emojis, especially heart ones. Hello, have they been sending you heart emojis? W what are you doing here? They likely like you. Oh, dang it with that phrase again. We generally send emojis to lighten up the mood and convey our emotions. You know, emoji. I mean, you don't have to be emo to send one. You just send one to convey emotion. Now, mostly everyone uses emojis, so don't quite jump at the idea if they use one or two. They could just be kind or friendly, but it at least shows their interest enough to keep the conversation lively. However, if they only respond with a simple emoji, they may not be trying to keep the conversation going as much as you are. This could mean one of two things. They're putting a simple end to the conversation or simply don't know what else to say. But if you make a move and they continue using emojis with more than just a brief avoidant response, it shows that they're open to getting to know you. There is research that shows emojis can not only be a fun way to express yourself, but help build further intimacy. According to a study from researchers, Amanda N. Gesselman, Vivian P. Ta, and Justin R. Garcia, Emojis can often be used as effective signals in modern social communication. Their research suggests that emoji use may provide a reasonable proxy for expressing effect and may provide a useful aid in self-disclosure and building intimacy. As a result, using emojis with potential romantic and sexual partners may in turn lead to more face-to-face -face opportunities to assess compatibility and attraction. So this may be a good sign that you're getting closer, especially with the heart emojis. Number six, they ask questions. If you find someone keeping the conversation alive with questions in their texts, then they wanna to talk to you. While some people can throw in a few questions to be polite and not come across as rude, if they genuinely seem to keep up the conversation, they may just like you. It's never a good sign when you're always having to ask questions to keep the conversation afloat. Now to the all important matter, if these questions mean they like you or want to be friends. Hey, everybody could use a friend. I mean, being friend-zoned isn't the best, but it's better than being completely rude. If someone is asking you personal questions, then they may be trying to get to know you because they like you. 
When we like someone, we not only want to continue conversation with them, but actually know them. We find ourselves caring about the other person and want to know the many details about them and their lives. Not in a creepy way though. Don't ask too many as if an interrogation, just emotional investment. Seven, they send selfies. Do you find someone sending you photos of themselves mid conversation or simply out of the blue? This is a telltale sign that they're interested in you. People send photos of their day and funny memes all the time, but selfies? They took the time to take a photo of themselves to show just you what they were doing and what they looked like for the day, or to show you a face along with their hello. And number eight, they text you throughout their day. People can text for a morning or evening and then check in tomorrow as a friend. Usually friends will text us with a reason, but if someone likes you, they'll likely find themselves texting you for no reason at all, but to simply get another chance to speak with you. If they text you throughout the day, that means even more. You can show they've been thinking about you as they go about their day. You've been on their mind and they just can't help but text you to see what you're up to. And number nine, they send flirty texts. Hmm, you can't tell if they like you, huh? Well, do they send flirty texts along with those heart emojis? What are you waiting for? Make a move, my friend. When people flirt over text, odds are they like you and think you're cute. It's important to note that they should at least initiate the flirty texts once in a while because what could be perceived as a flirty response to your flirting might just be, well, a response. It's best to take a look at the thumbs up emoji again and ask the inevitable question. Were they really flirting back or just, you know, giving me a thumbs up? Ah, the flirtatious and irresistible thumbs up emoji. Gets them every time. So, based on these signs, does someone like you? If so, what do you plan to do next? Do you like them back? Let us know in the comments. Remember, a few of these signs may just mean they're simply being a good friend. But if your friend exhibits more than just a few of these signals, well, they may want to be more than friends. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to Psych2Go, and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and make sure you share this video with your crush. It could be the perfect way to break the ice. You never know. Psych2Go could bring you and your soulmate together for years to come. Don't worry, you can thank us later.